This year, we decided to give illustrative math a chance in piloting it K through five, and towards the middle of the year, we decided to go with it as our curriculum moving forward. In this math curriculum, it really encourages students to talk to each other and to make sense of numbers. And as you can see in Nan Johnson's room, they were building combinations to 20 and using numbers flexibly to make these combinations. And research has shown that over the years, when students work flexibly with numbers, they're able to extend that flexibility with numbers to other areas of math. I have a challenge for these mathematicians. I'm wondering, if you can come up with an equation that equals 20, what? hold it in your head, yeah. using three numbers. Uh, it's six, six plus four is 10, it is in, in its way, Duke's idea, but using a different number. Oh, it's using <laughs> Duke's strategy, but with different numbers. Um, to make 20. I can make 20. Okay. Six plus five plus nine. Okay. Arnob said with his partner, oh no, that's 21, that's over the limit. You can't go over 20. All right, mathematicians, get back to work. Wait, it's over 20. Two. Take three more. Okay. Don't look at them, though. No. Oh, you can't do two. I learned about adding stuff to 9 and adding stuff to 8 and adding stuff to a lot of numbers. I also learned some equations that I never knew. I like doing math because it helps me learn and have fun. So we're excited about having uh, illustrative math K through 5. Uh, it builds upon the work we've been doing in the middle and high school around problem-based math. Um, and um, the, those programs are also built upon illustrative math. So we will now have a, a fully aligned math curriculum K through 12.